In this video, I will do a backtesting example for a different index. So I have here the S&P 60 Canadian index. So this is the CA60. And you should find this asset with many brokers. Let's start from here to look for buy signals. And here the market has been a long time under the moving average. From here on, we start straight with something that looks like a loss. Then we have a buy signal. The market goes up. We have another buy signal here. It goes up. A buy signal here. Here we have another buy signal. Here we have another loss. The market goes down. We have a buy signal. It goes up and it closes below. We have another buy signal. Another signal here. Another one here. A loss. A new signal. A loss. A new signal. Another loss. A little choppiness here. But we need to take the signals. Okay. It goes below. Another signal here. Closes below. Another loss. Here we have another signal. And we get to the present time. And now in this back testing exercise i would like to compare the results for two exit indicators here i have the williams percent r and the rex indicator we are going to use the same rules for the entry for both indicators and the same stop loss just at the bottom of the candle and i would like to see which one of those exit indicators it's better for this asset and first let's use the rex indicator and we will extract the data directly into the excel file and here i have the excel file from the last backtesting exercise and i'm going to right click here on this sheet move or copy move to the end i want to create a copy and here you can write a name or just leave it like that. And I'm going to delete the data from the last backtesting exercise. And in here I'm going to change the name. So this is going to be Rex. And this is going to be the Williams percent R. We have the same how many R's. And if we have any observations, have here 30 slots. Probably we have less than that. That's okay. So first we will use the Rex indicator. This is a loss. And in here. So this is correct. Okay, so this is a good trade. Next. Let's go here. We have an entry. This is good. Then in here we have an entry. This is good also. An entry here. And I want to take a closer look here. So it seems like it doesn't close this below. It just taps this line. But then it closes below. This is fine. And in here. Okay. This is good. Okay. This is also good. And here we keep the stop loss under the moving average. So in here we can count this as a loss. Because even if you go slightly under the moving average, this could be a loss. It depends what rules, how many was the distance between the moving average and your stop loss. You will decide to have like a fixed number. So let's count this as a loss. Just so we can have better data in our analysis then we go up yeah so this is telling us to go out that's okay takes us out here it's good so you see here i have to adjust this and in here, for the sake of the exercise, 
I'm just going to use the indicator but remember that in your back testing and uh, when you demo trade you need to start to make a rule like when where are you going to move your trailing stop loss are you going to move it with the moving average or maybe one day like those days here you decide okay let me just put that there and if it comes down it comes down that's not a problem but at least you secure your profits you see the same could happen here but for this exercise we are going to use the indicator only and that's okay you can use only the indicator if you want if you see that numbers will speak for this so if the numbers say that the indicator is going to make more money you can use that but even in that case you need after so many days when it goes up you need to at least move your stop loss to break even so to be at zero in case it goes down suddenly you don't go out in all, on a loss you go out on zero so that's a win that's considered a win when you do not lose money it's considered a win so in here takes us out here have signal a loss in here so i'm going to assume that here you'd have your stop loss to break even so this is a zero trade so in this trade you made zero in here you go in but because this candle it's up like that you keep your stop loss under the moving average and then it goes up continues to go up and in this day it comes down at the moving average so this is another zero then it closes below and you go in that's okay okay so in this day here it takes you out and you see this is a nice trade and in here you had real mitigation like zero zero loss zero loss here zero loss here and then finally pays out we go forward having a signal here then it takes you out a small scalp we can call that a loss and here we have another signal let's say you see here it's a little sketchy because it goes up but you have those indecisive black body candles so you can you're probably not going to take uh, signals on those two but then finally here it goes down a lot it closes above the moving average so this could be a good signal then it goes up and in this day it closes below the moving average let's see if we have another signal here yes so let's also put this one and it takes you out here so this is the data we are going to extract this to see how it looks on paper and we will do that in the next video